The fourth industrial revolution is here. It's a global shift in the way people work. While this massive change is driving widespread talent shortages, it's also inspiring industry experts worldwide to re-examine the ways we work and the ways we learn. It has inspired PwC to reimagine how we meet the challenges ahead for ourselves and for our clients. This is the age of digital disruption. Historically, we used to look to governments to drive social change. However, now it's at the point where it's up to the business community. We can do this. How should people be prepared for a world where the types of skills required to do a job are going to change? Rather than think in terms of jobs disappearing as a whole, one should be thinking in terms of which tasks are going to be affected. A lot of people actually complain about how they are doing a variety of mundane and repetitive things that they wish that they could, they could get out of. With the fourth IR, we're, we're noticing a, a lot of our clients, and certainly we are as a firm as well, noticing a ton of improvement in efficiencies. We're collaborating in a different way. We're taking the great work that our teams are doing and we're actually improving those and enhancing those for our clients. The needs of today's businesses are changing. The good news is that the vast majority of the global workforce is ready to make the changes necessary to stay relevant and adapt to new ways of working. An inclusive upskilling program, one in which no one is left behind, sends a very clear message to employees that they are being invested in, that they are being cared for, and that this is a, an organization that values the human as well as the digital. How do we educate people at scale? And how do we provide individuals with the capacity to engage in lifelong learning? So the onus lies on me as a lifelong learner to continue to upskill myself, to stay relevant. By 2022, millions of workers will need a new career path, transitioning to new jobs requiring new skills. And businesses have an important role to play. It was really important for PwC to invest in upskilling because we know that if we didn't disrupt ourselves, someone else would. Where this gets really interesting um, is where the organization has to strike the right balance between their own individual organizational needs and the desire on the part of the learner to carve out their own journey, right? To follow where their curiosity takes them. At PwC, we call that citizen-led innovation. As we think about our approach, we really think about it in three simple steps. Up knowledge, up skill, up perform. And what we mean by that is up knowledge is when you learn and you start to think about what are the new terms? What's the common language? How are we starting to digest new concepts? Upskill is whenever we think about applying that and really starting to change the way we're working, both individually and as teams. And then upperform is really when you do it at scale and really across the organization sharing automations and innovations so that you really see that ROI on your upskilling spend. It's not the traditional way of learning. It's not compliance-based. It's about the learners of the future. It's about how do you engage people so that you're actually taking that time out of their day and they feel like they're using it in the most effective way possible. This is not just about businesses. It's bigger than that. And that's what truly motivates me here because it impacts everyone. It'll impact me, it'll impact my daughter. It will impact everyone. We're helping prepare people for what's next by reimagining how we upskill tomorrow's workforce today.